Potatoes are one of the most widely consumed and versatile vegetables worldwide. They come in various varieties, each with their own characteristics in terms of taste and texture. As simple as the humble potato is, they require a lot of time and effort to grow and harvest. Potato farming involves several stages, from land preparation to planting the potatoes to harvesting and storing them. In this video, I will take you through the main processes of potato farming from start to finish. Step 1 to potato farming is to prepare the soil by plowing and tilling and remove any dirt clumps, stones or rocks that could deform a potato's growth. Step two would be to create beds or rows to plant the seed potatoes in. Step three would be to create seed potatoes for planting, which is done by cutting a potato into chunks. And then when they come out, most of them are cut. What isn't cut, these guys pick up and they cut them on these knives that are just sitting here. Step four is to plant the seed potatoes either by hand on small farms or by using a special potato planting machine. The planted potato begins to grow roots. Next, the new shoots reach up through the soil towards the sun, and soon there are green leaves above ground. This is where the potatoes will grow. Step five, after eight to 12 weeks, the potato plants will flower. This is indication the potatoes are ready to be harvested. To prepare for harvesting the plants need to be either cut back or herbicides used to kill the potato vines. Step 6. Allow the potatoes to sit in the ground for a few more days after cutting back the foliage. This helps the skins toughen up, making them easier to harvest without damage and better for storage.
Step 7 is to cure the potatoes, which is done by storing them in a cool, dark, and well-ventilated place for about two weeks. Curing is a process that helps potatoes develop a toughened skin and heal any minor cuts or bruises that may have occurred during harvesting. This step is essential for the proper storage and preservation of the potatoes and helps improve flavor and texture. This is one of nine cellars that we will fill this harvest. So that big pile you see down there at the end, that's all potatoes. It's about 25 to 30 feet high, and I believe it's 60 feet wide. Dump onto the piler right here, and then this just takes them up. It has a big boom, and it just extends, and it'll go back and forth, and it'll pile the potatoes really, really, really high. So as he piles them, they kind of just avalanche down the mountain and it covers these vents. Now these vents, they're hooked into the wall over here. So you can see over here, there's, there's these holes in the concrete. So on the other side of this wall, there's an air tunnel. And the air tunnel will bring air and pump it underneath all of the potatoes because if they don't get air, they'll rot. You gotta keep them cool and you gotta keep them dry, dry enough. You don't want them to dry out all the way, but you also don't want them to be visibly wet. So you gotta keep them in the exact right condition for them to last because these potatoes could be in here for six months to a year, depending on when the plant takes them out. Step eight, once the potatoes have cured, it's time to process them. Firstly, potatoes are washed, then grated and sorted and any damaged potatoes removed. Lastly, they are packaged into branded bags ready for sale. 